Hello, Discerning Brutes. You are watching DBTV, and my guest this evening is ethically handsome Davey Havoc, lead Thank singer you. of AFI, one of the most prolific rock bands who have garnered a voracious following with their haunting visuals and powerful music. Welcome, Davey. Hi, Joshua. Thanks for chatting with us tonight. Thank you very much for having me. It's an honor. Uh, how do you feel about being referred to as ethically handsome? I, th I appreciate that. <laughs> I think it's appropriate. Joshua and I were talking earlier about our um, ethnic hair, which we both have, and we oh. have to taint. Oh, oh, eth well, we're, we're ethnically handsome, too, but also ethically handsome. <laughs> you said ethnically handsome. <laughs> it's appropriate, right? Wait, you said ethnic? I said ethnic. <laughs> well, yeah, we're Jews. I thought you were having on our, our early our Jew-fro-Italian <laughs> Puff conversation, but you're also ethically handsome. This is this I this I will accept as well. Thank okay, you. Okay. I appreciate the sentiment and the ethos that goes into that because, as you are I'm sure aware of, having eth ethical beauty is something that's very rare yes. in our world. So does that make you a superhero or a supervillain? I think it depends on who you talk to. Mm -hmm. I think I think many would have me as the supervillain, which I find to be very ironic. Yeah. Um, and actually that, you know, that dichotomy and perception of and light and dark is something that is really pervasive in <clears throat> what I've been speaking about lyrically for, gosh, almost 20 years now. Um, and it's really interesting what people perceive to be right and wrong. Kind I just like to think of myself as just plain super. <laughs> just super. That's good. That's good. Just super. So many people use their power for evil. Um, mm -hmm. but AFI played the live earth concert. Mm -hmm. Uh, are you guys environmentalists or are you personally an environmentalist? Well, I am definitely personally an environmentalist by way of being vegan. If the world were vegetarian or vegan, the impact that it would have on the environment, on the biosphere would be far greater than if people stopped driving cars. Yeah. People don't know that the number one cause of global warming is raising livestock for food production. Yeah, nobody ever talks about that. And, and I mean, not to mention the amount of people that could be fed if that land were used to grow grain and, and instead of, um, you know, to raise cattle that are going to be then murdered. You've been at uh, doing music for almost two decades now with, uh, with AFI, right? This is true. I started, um, Adam and I started AFI together in 1991. And uh, that was a long time ago, and yeah, we've been doing it ever since. <laughs> that's almost two decades. You know how old I was in 91? <laughs> uh, tell me. 11. 11. It was one year before, uh, I, it was one year before I bought uh, the PJ Harvey Dry album, though. So. Wow. So you started young. I started young with PJ. I did, too. She got me into it. That's fantastic. That's a great way to start. So tell us about Crash Love. What, what should we expect with this? I truly, truly feel it's the best thing that we've ever done. And the album has a sense of, of continuity and, and timelessness to it that I feel we have never achieved before up until this point. For me, what I've written lyrically is slightly different than what people usually expect from me. Mm -hmm. There are those moments of of detachment and despondence and, um, you know, dark emotional moods that occur on this record, which is typical for me. But <laughs> there, um, a lot of the record is, um, is, uh, is a commentary, is a social commentary on the decline of, of art and culture that we're all facing today. Um, what with the you know, pervasive influence of, of media and a, of a culture that is self-perpetuating that really not only sometimes doesn't recognize substance, but shuns it. We're really just working on getting the record mastered and getting it out, which should be um, September. Awesome. I think. Yeah, so that's, that's what's up with AFI. <laughs> In addition to, to really powerful music, you guys are also uh, known for your visuals and, and the, uh, the art and the imagery that goes along with your music. And I think that's something that makes you guys stand apart from a lot of other bands. And um, you guys 
clearly put a lot of thought into um, into visuals. Is there anything uh, with this album that you've thought of yet as far as videos or artwork or anything like that? It's it's hard to really get involved with thinking of videos until we know what the single is. <laughs> Can't you just and make videos for everything? Come on. <laughs> I wish. You know, that's what I was thinking today when we were going over um, some of the mixes. It's just I would I would love to be able to have a live action visual representation of every one of these songs because they each mean so much to me and they evoke such um, very strong images to me because I mean they come from my life and they come from my perspective so of course there's there's that for me I would love to do that um, but as you were saying whatever we like to do we feel that the aesthetic should complement um, itself in, in, in all parts of the work. You're really interactive uh, with your fans uh, I've seen some of the transmission videos, and I think that that's really awesome. Uh, and and some other contests that you guys do, where you involve your fans in a lot of stuff. Um, tell me about that. How, why do, why do you guys do that? You know, truly, where that comes from, in essence, is that's how we grew up, listening to bands and going to see bands. There was very little divide there. We do things like um, invite our fans to come and sing on our record. That's really, I mean, that's really me, awesome. Yeah, for when I was, you know, <clears throat> when I was 15 years old or 14 years old, you know, if Robert Smith would have invited, right now, <laughs> you know, if that would happen, you know. If, hey, Robert. Um, <laughs> like, you know, Robert Smith or, you know, Luke Holler or, or someone had invited me in to sing on the record, I would be like, okay, this is, the, this is, the best moment of my life, you know. Yeah, John John Brandon is singing along with me, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, 